So, a lot of players have been experimenting with the bones found in the southwest corner of the map. Mecha Taylor, for example, built what he is calling the King Gleok. This magnificent three-headed beast harnesses the power of ice, fire, and electricity. Like all ridiculous builds, this thing guzzles the battery. Worth it. Wolfie Waldark, on the other hand, has gone more simplistic and stylish with their build. It's a car that uses a skull as a chassis and as a space to enclose Link. It's like a very strange cross between the Flintstones and Mad Max. It's actually a great build for the desert as the top jaw actually keeps Link protected from the sun. And of course, we have to include Eternal's Mega Godzilla project, which is still in stage one. The current parts list is shown on screen, and I can't wait to see what part two looks like. Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. Beedle is a wandering merchant that spawns all over Hyrule. We believe there are 14 total beedles in game. Zelda Switch 9 was on a quest to reunite at least 4 of those 14 beedles with one another, and they're using this impressive flying contraption. This feels illegal. <laughs> Twirtle has just set the new Kitowak Shrine world record, just 7.733 seconds. There's a phrase that goes, never see how the sausage is made. And I think that applies here. Once you see what gloom hands look like underneath, you'll never be able to look at them again. Time for the prestigious Build of the Day Award. Dr. Grace calls this the Bow Combine Harvester, and the great thing about this build is it's just an early draft. There's potential here to make this thing so much better. The spinning wooden planks scoop the Bow Coblin into the contraption. Once trapped inside, he's funneled into this shock emitter at the back of the machine, inflicting damage. We're all guilty of occasionally over-engineering solutions in TOTK. Lost had an idea for a simple solve to this Korok reunion, and it worked, surprisingly. <laughs> Hydromelons are round. Wheels are round. For Mistrop, that was all they needed to know in order to make this melon mobile. For the price of just 14 hydromelons, you too could drive the world's worst vehicle. Here's a tip for you apparently, Dazzlefruit insta kills Stalfos.
Ashran submitted his improvement, well, I'll leave the improvement part in as subjective, on the popular hoverbike design. He calls this contraption Hudson Air. Other names could include Bikeson, or with its three fans, Trikeson. Regardless, it costs 15 Zonite to auto build. This moblin stole the Master Sword. Spoiler warning for you collectors, the next clip contains all of Link's outfits in game. Clean Cookies created this edit to show them all off in their Tarrytown house. So fun fact, Cookies is actually missing one outfit from this clip. 10 worthless bonus points if you can guess which one, comment below. How did this get in here? So something I haven't talked about on the channel yet are the mob sculptures that you can display in Tarrytown. Ockerson's display is quite impressive. Now, I get the monster sculptures are identical to the real thing, but at least make them balance. A bunch of people on Reddit hadn't heard of this feature, so if you're in that camp, speak to Kilton in Tarrytown to get started. We spend a lot of time on this channel highlighting high IQ plays, but honestly, I enjoy the low IQ moments just as much, if not more. Anyone else have a joystick that occasionally whips back when you release it? Ice does, and it reared its ugly head in the worst possible time. Pain. All those years spent trying to catch that roadrunner, the coyote has finally come up trumps. Teller's take on a bomber is a little different. Instead of attaching the payload to the vehicle, Teller is the payload. That's 10 time bombs about to be dropped. Make that 20. I think the Janeway effect has done it. They've created the perfect ATST. So everybody is building these crazy things with the electric powered propeller from the Gimme Mix Shrine. Fax can't see what all the fuss is about. This doesn't look very useful or efficient.
first, no gardening. Now this, unplayable. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.